All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanna to go over my hand tools. I've gone over all these tools before, going over like what's in my tool belt, but today I wanna to go over what these tools are called, what they're used for, um, defining the terms of the tools and what they're used for to give you guys um, an understanding of what these tools are for and how are they used, used on the job site and stuff like that. Um, but first of all, I'll probably just start out with um, my impact drill right here, and that is to that is used for mainly um, drilling screws um, into the wall, into studs, stuff like that. Um, there can you can add certain attachments and stuff like that to make it do different things and stuff like that to turn it into like a real drill or whatnot, or to add a uh, like a unit bit adapter or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the tools. You got first of all, you got your tool belt, obviously, to hold all your tools. And before I forget, we got the tape measure right here on the outside, which is used for taking measurements, um, um, which is pretty much um, determine, which pretty much determines where you put like certain boxes or uh, dividing a room in half, um, cutting pipes. Um, bending pipes, stuff like that. So that's what that is used for. And then we have our screwdrivers over here. Um, that is mainly just for screwing stuff together, whether that be inside of a, a box or taking screws out of the wall or um, tightening screws down in a box. I think I already said that. Um, or just tightening wall plates, stuff like that. Um, and then obviously you got your strippers right here and this is for making your wire connections to remove the sheathing or the outer jackets of the wire to expose the copper or aluminum um, to make your connections. And that's pretty much one of the most important tools as an electrician. Um, and then also your diagonal cutters right here, which is used for cutting, um, cutting wires, cutting MC, um, removing nails. It has an angle of head right here, so you can grab a staple and then pry, pry it off of a wall or whatnot. Um, or I like to use these basically as scissors to cut like string and stuff. Um, so that's uh, one of my favorite tools right there. And then I have my um, Nipex right here, which is pretty much for tightening uh, lock nuts, um, just grabbing things and holding them. If I need to uh, grab a piece of pipe and cut it or whatnot, if, if it's a really small piece of pipe, I can use these to hold the pipe. Um, so when the pipe gets warm or whatnot from cutting it, then it doesn't burn my hand or something like that. So there's so many different uses that you can use all these tools for. These are just a couple, two, um, couple off the top of my head. Then you have your pipe reamer right here, which is to, uh, once you cut your pipe, it's to smooth off any rough edges or burrs um, off of the pipe. Um, and then your sheetrock saw right here. Um, and obviously all these tools may look different in your tool belt. So these are just the tools that I have in my tool belt right now. So I'm just going to go over all those. Uh, this is just a sheetrock saw to cut sheetrock. Um, if you need to add a box or if you just need to so you need a little extra room or trim something. Um, so that is what that is used for. And surprisingly, I have linemans in my bag right now. So a lot of people use these for pre-twisting. I don't. Um, I use them for uh, untwisting wires and also mainly I use these like on PT decks um, for tie wire um, to tighten stuff down, tighten um, the rods together on a PT deck. Um, the can you remember what that's called right now but some kind of steel, the steel bars, um, the rebar that's what it's called. Um, and then I have my 11 in 1 right here, my magnetic 11 in 1 uh, which can be used for several dif different things. It can be used as a nut driver. Um, it can just be used as a screwdriver. Um, so there's so many different uses for this. It just depends on what you're using it for. Um, and then these are just another pair of diagonal cutters right there, just a bad pair. Um, and then this is a magnetic stud finder. So it's really, it's really strong magnet. Um, so it can, find, it can find nails or screws through a wall. Uh, as you can see here, thing slaps right on there and it's really kind of hard to get off sometimes, but um, that's what that is used for. And then we've got your needle nose pliers right here. And these are, I like to use these mainly for doing battleships on uh, cut-in boxes or 
Um, also, I can use these for knocking out knockouts in a metal box. Um, same thing with the um, diagonal cutters or dikes. Those can be used for removing um, the knockouts on boxes. Same with the um, can't even think of names right now. Um, these, which I already told you, but you can use these for knocking out as well. Um, and also um, adding MC connectors to boxes. I like to use these to tighten the MC connectors into a box. And it just really takes out the effort of doing that. Um, <clears throat> and then also your hot, your little hot pen right here or hot tester tells you if a circuit is on or not so this can be a lifesaver but also not the most accurate sometimes um got my um uh, there we just picked that up so i got my uh like 15 or 16 in one so i got another just another type of 11 in one right here um just all your different tips right here and then the little quarter inch um nut driver at the top once you take out the bits um, but that's kind of stripped out so that doesn't really work anymore um, and then your level right here, which is to make things level, uh, mainly on your wall plates or your boxes when you're mounting boxes um, for like uh, steel studs and steel boxes and stuff like that. Got my Allen set right here, which is mainly for tightening down service, um, service Allens for your services, for your main wire coming in. Um, and then I have another stubby screwdriver down here. Actually, I don't have another one. This is the only one. It's kind of hard to do this when you put all the tools back inside. So I got my stubby right here, which is, I really like to use this for can lights. Um, if you need to tighten the screws down in like a six inch can light, um, really, really handy. And also, it also works as a mini nut driver right there and it can flip around um, on the other side so it's two nut drivers and four bits and then I lost I where my thing went oh there it is the center punch right here the owl um, which is used for punching on metal so you punch this down on a piece of metal and it makes a little divot and then it gives you a spot so your drill doesn't wobble around when you try to drill a spot on a certain spot. So you punch this on the metal and then it makes a little divot and that's where you put your, the tip of your drill bit so it stays in that spot. Uh, moving on, I got my razor, which is used for cutting plastic or um, whatever you wanna cut. And then got this little uh, four in one right here, uh, which is a ratchet, ratcheting wrench, uh, which is, I use it for um, tightening bolts down or something um, in a tight area or like on a ceiling. Um, got my flashlight right here for brightening things up if it gets too dark, if I'm working in a ceiling or an attic or a crawl space. Pencil for marking, uh, that's pretty self explanatory. And then um, another baby uh, screwdriver right here for s certain small types of. Um, screws and panels and stuff like that, mainly um, your fire alarm panels and stuff like that. Um, moving on to the other side, we got your um, screwdrivers right here. These are the same screwdriver, but one of them is bad. So basically you just have one of these. One of them I use, the top one I use for beating, um, basically beating on with a hammer. As you can see, the tip broke off. Um, so I use that one for beating on um, or a chisel or whatnot. And then the good one down here I use for um, bigger screws, um, like on uh, couplings and stuff like that for your um, two and a half inch, three inch, four inch, stuff like that. Got your safety glasses right here to protect your eyes. Um, and then I think, yeah, I do have my, my head, I put my headphones in here, my Apple headphones just to listen to music or whatnot or take phone calls. Um, and then I got my pens and Sharpies and stuff like that down here to write with, more permanent with and then um, have a receptacle tester right here to um, check if power is off, check if things are wired correctly and also test out GFIs. Um, got some tape in here, that's kind of unimportant to this video. 
I got my multi um, socket um, right here. Basically like a 10 in one for sockets. You got your, tells you all your measurements and stuff right here. Your socket sizes, your 9 16 quarter inch, 3 8 3 16 stuff like that. Um, so that's handy to have instead of carrying around 12 different nut drivers. Um, you got your hammer right here for um, hammering in nails, taking nails out, mounting boxes, just really whatever you gotta do. Um, and then that's pretty much most of it. And the other stuff is basically just small stuff, which you may or may not ever have. I've got some gloves for keeping your hands protected right here. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, a few other things like a file for, once again, filing off rough edges. Your drill bit tips right here um, for screwing in things faster. This is a square drive. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I have like a lockout right here just to make sure the if you want to screw this down onto a breaker and make sure no one messes with the power while you're using that circuit. Um, and then you can add a lock to it as well. So that's pretty much wraps everything up. I do have like a few other like magnetic tips and um, not nut drivers right here for a drill attachment so but that's pretty much all of it so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this helped you out um and then i got like this little clip right here just to uh hold up my hold my tool belt together um which is basically just a keychain right there so hopefully this helped you out guys thank you so much for watching i uh, appreciate it as always if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like button and subscribe i'd appreciate it i'll see you guys back in the next video um yeah getting close to 10,000, so appreciate that that's just mind-blowing and uh other things check the description down below um especially the first link with the link tree which is gonna have all my social media all that good stuff if there's anything else you want to know about me um check that out or um shoot me a comment or something down below and then lastly hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other questions drop them down below if there's something i went over too fast uh, let me know god bless and an awesome rest of your day Peace out.